Right now, there is a lot of disruption going on across every industry. Um, and music, I don't think, is different in this sense, right? There is a disruption coming for music. You know, the writing's kind of been on the walls for performance rights organizations. Uh, labels, the entire industry has shrunk by half in the last 20 years. As a consumer, we have it great, right? We don't pay for music. We don't think about paying for music, right? We subscribe to Spotify, we subscribe to Apple Music, to Amazon Music, to Deezer. The problem is, at the end of the day, is that artists, we believe that artists don't get paid fairly for their works. They're not compensated for, for all the value that they create, for all the people that they make happy, right? They're given fraction of percents uh, to to what they're actually creating, right? They're creating more value for these companies, for these large corporations than for themselves. If you only listen to one artist and you only stream five or 10 songs a, a month, is that single artist getting your money? Are they getting $10 a month from you? The answer is no. With Ujo, we're creating licensing platforms. We're creating ways to distribute content. We're creating different types of kind of incentive mechanisms for the music industry. But you know, these incentives, these mechanisms, and these pieces basically can be used across any of the arts, right? You could use them for books. You could use them for, for podcasts or for um, even digital artworks. We want to give artists a way to connect with their fans directly. We want to give artists a way to be able to easily license their music so that you don't have to go through these long processes of, of email chains and trying to connect with the people that actually are in control. If we can all share data, if we can all share these data layers, share licensing, um, have easy access to licensing, and that's kind of where we want to get to with this technology, and, and that's why we think blockchain technology is so important, because it is essentially like a giant puzzle, right? You know, everything at the end of the day has its core components, and it's just about piecing together the different core components to really make these systems usable and to make them flourish. Currently, it, we're in a very early stage with these technologies. We're still at the point of adoption. We're not even at the point yet where we're improving these user interfaces, where we're getting to the point where these systems are seamless, they're transparent, and you don't even realize the technology behind it. Um, but what, you know, the ultimate thing for us to make users realize immediately is that they're benefiting the artists, that they're benefiting the people that they care most about. Because in a world where kind of the more mundane tasks are, are filled in by automation, by, by robots, by computers, um, what's really left, right? And I think that's the creative industry. That's, that's the creative people. That's people that are thinking outside the box and not thinking, you know, I just have to fill in another spreadsheet. We aren't at the point where machines have the ability to be creative, even if they can do machine learning, even if they can do all these different things, they're still not quite at the level of creativity of humans, and I don't know that they ever will be.